<laughs> but but you are a veteran I am. track and field star. So okay, let's talk about somebody who has experienced a lot. Do you look at do you look at Clemens and think pathetic, or are you kind of <laughs> happy for him? You know, I am kind of happy for him. You know, uh, as long as you have a passion for your sport, you should continue to do so. I mean, I know it's hard to say, and plus he's getting paid to work out. Like. I work out. <laughs> That's a <his> job. <laughs> so definitely, I think you should keep at it. And also, you know, as we get older, we have, you know, increased opportunities for different sponsorships. Uh, hair dye, wheelchairs, walking. Oh. Oh. We are not taking away from the younger rookies. We are totally not dipping into their market. We're not. Yeah. We, we can all be friends. We can, you know. So, yeah, th th that was a really good point there on the whole branding. <laughs> Look, personally, though, <laughs> is it difficult, like for you? Now, you're going to give the Olympics another run. Definitely. Okay. Woo! So, yeah! but is it, is it, how will you know when, wow, I'm not an Olympian? How will you know? How will you know? Well, for me, my goal is to get the medal. So the moment I get that medal, I am deucing it on out. <laughs> Goodbye, rookies. I've had my fun. But, you know, I don't know. Like, it, that haunts me. Like, what if I go to the next Olympics and I don't get that medal? This goal that I've been trying to, to achieve forever, am I going to still keep clawing at it when I got gray hair and can barely walk and I'm supposed to get over these hurdles? I don't know, you know? I don't think that'll be a problem for it's you. A tough you question. work out, she just threw up the deuces. Yeah. Sports Nation, yeah. what do you think of older athletes like Clemens coming back? Lolo's oh, all in on it. Oh, yeah. Do it! Just don't give up. Anytime you can be paid to work out. Thank you. Thank you. Have a bonus. Has Colin told what you about his seven-minute mile? No, he hasn't, which is awesome. Thank you. I, I'm an older American. Thank you. Thank you, Lola, Sponsored. for patronizing me. I Sponsored appreciate by that, AARP. Lola, we do a thing called Three Cheers on this show. Yes, Little League, Little League World, World Series. Series. Do you see the crowds at these games? Yep. There's an track beat. 6,000, 7,000 Alex makes the leaping catch over his head. Great for a little kid like that. How excited are his parents? Oh, it's a highlight for 99% exactly. of these kids. This is it, you know? Two cheers for Deshaun Jackson, Eagles Patriots. Deshaun Jackson breaks free, elevates for a 40-yard reception. Now, Lola, you went to LSU. So who is your team? Are you a Saints fan? Uh, you know, it depends on if they're the Saints or they're the H. You know, I'm kind oh. of a Saints fan. So. Wow. Now, but for LSU, you're always a fan of LSU. I bleed purple and gold. So go ahead. I know you're a hater. Let's go. Let's hear it. I think you're Ooh. the second best team in the country to USC. Oh, what's the ranking say? <laughs> Watch Roberto Soriano. Oh. Oh. She said they're either the Saints or the Aints. Lola's well, I mean, got they have a history of being kind of hot and cold. True. I mean, on and off. But, you know, the fans are loyal, and I'm one of their fans, and I'm, I'm definitely going to be buying their tickets uh, regardless, especially because they'll be really cheap when they're not good. So We're a fan go, Lolo. of Lolo Jones, and we got to talk a little football when we return Matthew with Matthew Barry. Barry. Don't miss it.